Okay. Hopefully this will be my last go at this. Um, I may break it up into two different videos just to get it on Facebook easier. Um, after looking at this, can you see how this little mountain here is too red? I'm going to try to get him the same color as that. So I'm going to get my blue and my red, those are in crimson, and just makes it real light. Light, light. Um, more to the blue side, purple, and a little white in that. Let's see if we can get that still too, too dark. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's too light. Um, but you know what? I think I'm going to go with this and just do both of them. That way they'll be uh, kind of the same. I'm going to use this to put some little different shades in this. There, like where the sun may be hitting it. And then I'm going to go over here and just get him a little bit here. It's about I think I need it just a little bit bluer. I either get it too blue or too red. <laughs> I'm just going to put some darker streaks in there to kind of give it a little texture. It's still too red. Blue. <laughs> it's too dark. Okay, we know how this session's going to go. <laughs> okay. This little mountain here has got some serious shadows in it. Someday I'll have to go up to that mountain and see what's really up over there. 
I've only seen it as a, at a distance. A little bit of shadow on this one. Let's see here. Just This is just a, a light wash I'm adding in there because I needed to cover up some stuff in the sky. Hopefully that won't show up too much. We'll put a little over here just, just in case. <laughs> dark spot needs to come out. It just draws your eye right to it. And it helps a little bit. Another thing I noticed, I've kind of have the plantation walk here, the driveway. I'm going to get rid of that. To make a little bit of dark green here with my sap green and my ultra or ultramarine blue. Well, just a bit of ultramarine blue, sap green, and my burnt umber. And I need my scruffy brush. The one I took the scissors to. <laughs> 
And I'm going to put a little bit of greenery right there just to kind of break up that path going back there. You can still go look back in there. And I'll just do a little bit here. You can see how that kind of just broke up that little path that was going back there. But you can still see back there. So it's not like we did too much damage to the background scenery. Then I'm going to get a little sage green, a little bit lighter green, uh, that same color, and put some white in it. Um, kind of tone that down just a little bit. This one can have a little bit of yellow in it because it's closer. Whoops, that's the wrong one. Let's get... Yeah, it's a little bit sagey. There. And he needs a little shadow under him. I'll get the... Scruffy brush doesn't work very good for shadows. <laughs> there we go. That'll set him in there a little bit. Uh -oh. I'm trying to paint with this camera in the way here, so it's... I messed that up, that line up just a little bit. I'm going to lighten my roof just a little bit on this side where the sun is hitting it. Let's see if it'll work. Oh, get rid of the scruffy brush. I need to put the hole in my roof again. Or the, kind of mess that up a little bit there. And my chimney's gone. I'm gonna put my chimney back. 